This base looks strange. Kaboom! Yes, guys, and welcome to my base review series. This is where we find some of the best bases in the world, test them out in the Legend League, review them, and give them a score out of 10. And today, we're going to be looking at this glorious Town Hall 13 Legend League and War base. You might not have seen anything like this before. It's totally crazy. Guys, if you are after an awesome base that's going to surprise your opponents, then this could be it. In just a moment, we're going to check out some Legend League replay so you can see the base in action, see if it is any good. And guys, there are lots of one star attacks against this base if you are impressed that you do want to download and try this base yourself it is easy just head on over to the video description click on the base layout and go kaboom yes the base will appear on your device just like that guys before we check out the replays a massive shout out to one of my subscribers carson had a birthday the other day happy birthday Woo! awesome also, guys, if you are new to the channel and you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs, reviews, and Clash of Clans guides, hit that subscribe button and join the Saboose army and tap the notification button, of course. I always forget to mention that. So, this base is different. It's got loads of one-star replays. Let's jump in and watch them now. So here's my Legend League defense log for the base, guys. Don't be put off by that three-star attack at the top. We're going to scroll through now and you'll see there's loads of one-star attacks. Yes! So in summary, we used this base for two days in the Legend League. 13 attacks against the base. Of those 13 attacks, 5 were 1 star, 7 were 2 star, and 1 was a 3 star attack. I'm really impressed with its performance, guys. And obviously, don't forget to charge your battery, guys. I just had a low battery warning there. Yes, yeah, so yeah, guys, sorry. 13 attacks, 5 were 1 star. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Let's jump into some replays now, and you'll see how people really struggle to funnel against this base and take down that town hall. Kaboom! So here's our first replay then, guys. And what do we got? We got a Hog Miner Hybrid. Very powerful attack, but sometimes difficult to implement, especially against centralized town halls, I find. I always struggle. It's all about pathing your troops. Anyway, Queen Walker over there on the right with some healers. On the left, the Siege Barracks has been deployed, but the Siege Barracks is taking damage from my defenses. Remember, guys, if your Siege Barracks takes damage, it reduces the amount of troops it will deploy. So there we go. The Siege Barracks is gone already. Out come the Hog Riders. They've just hit a giant bomb. They're not having a good time over there he'll spell down and the peck is there helping him out but the pecker is she is about to be taken out of that double cannon queen's doing an okay job over there so there is a funnel complete there guys and like i said with this strategy hog miner hybrid it's all about pathing your troops into the base or wherever you want them to go because miners and hogs just follow the natural path so there we go what we got now royal champ miners the king and the Hogs and the Grand Ward and the Shepherd following them all in. Are they going to go to the centre of the base? But I've got a nasty surprise waiting for them in the Clan Castle. One thing you don't want to see with a Hog Miner Hybrid is three Ice Golems coming your way. Gary, Gordon and Greg the Ice Golems. How are you doing, guys? They just want to hug people. They're friendly. They just want to chill out. But the thing is, when you've got Ice Golems in the CC, they just stop the Miners and Hogs in their tracks. And guys, those troops haven't got much health. So if you've got Multi Inferno scatter shot there, they're going to disintegrate, really, just as they have. So no chance of taking down that Town Hall. Now the King's there. He can't get in there to help. The Grand Warden is being double Infernoed. And he's gone now. The King's being Infernoed. Everybody's being... I'm being Infernoed in my room, guys. There's an Inferno Tower outside. There isn't really. It might be, you don't know. Uh, you don't know, guys. You've got to be careful. Um, what's going on? Somebody's been Inferno there. Can't tell. Small troop. I think it was a barbarian. And uh, we've still got 1 minute 16, 15 seconds left. That's because the queen on the outside of the base are all the structures are there, which is good. I like the way this base is set out because if you take out those structures, you're going to activate the town hall, aren't you? You're going to reach 50%. The queen's just having a great time out there, oblivious of the town hall, waiting for if she gets close enough. But uh, my king's there. I've just uh, phoned my king. Look, he's on the phone. He's got the, his hand up to his ear. And I'm saying, king, take her, yeah, take her out of the equation. Go on. Boom. So one-on-one -on -one there, heroes. Uh, the king is following my instructions. And yeah, there we go. Well done, king. Uh, repel any attackers into our base, please. Kaboom. Next replay, what do we got? We got some golems, which this looks like an interesting strategy, guys. Earthquake spells, three golems, ten witches, some bowlers. Yeah. What's going to happen? So here we go. Golem left, Golem middle, go 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 Golem right, Wrecker in the middle, and then a line of bowlers and witches. And let's see what happens here. So the thing is, though, without a funnel, those troops are just going to go left to right, and that Wrecker is totally unprotected. Nobody's looking after it. Out come the Ice Golems. Hi, you guys. Nice to see you again. Wrecker's been inferno Boom. And those troops almost certainly will not reach the town hall. Four earthquake spells hit down there, though. 
opening up the base. The Queen's been sent in, but she cannot handle that many defences by herself. No way. So that's the thing. Because there's so many defences in the core, the wall wreck is going to need some help, guys. It can't do it by itself. It can't do it with a rage spell. Maybe a couple of clone spells, yeah. But it can't do it by itself. The Queen, as soon as she uh, becomes visible again, yep, she's gone. And now you've just got troops on the left, troops on the right, witches down there. Whoa, witch flown out the arena there. Beautiful. Eagle artillery, bomb, bomb, bomb. It's targeted somebody there. Those poor witches, bang, boom, bash. Just one left. That's Wendy the witch down there on the right, guys. But she has been targeted. That is overkill by the eagle artillery. Didn't really need to do that. And Wendy, uh, we're not going to show that. Oh, we are going to show that. Yep. Sorry, Wendy. And again, like the last replay, guys, the troops are stuck on the outside of the base. So with this base, you need to take down that town hall straight away. With your echo, with your battle blimp. And there is a minion that's just come on the battlefield and it's just gone. Uh, some wall breakers. Uh, they're gone. And it's just a massacre, guys. It's just not good. Wizard there. And yeah, you know what? This base, I haven't seen it around. There are bases sort of like it, but this is just different. And the, half the... Making a good base, half of the problem is making sure that it hasn't been seen before. And guys, we had a live attack here. This was a live attack when I was online, so I just thought I'd record it. So what have we got in this uh, live attack? Two ice golems, two witches, nine yetis. I do like the look of this. Eight earthquake spells. I do like the look of this strategy. So four there, opening up the core. Where are the other four spells going to go? Where do you reckon, guys? And of course, there was one three-star attack against this base. Do you think this is it, guys? I'm not going to tell you. But the base is open. This is not looking good. All the walls are down. Siege barracks there waiting. Max level heroes. I'm a bit scared, guys, if I'm honest. I'm feeling a bit scared. If I was in that castle now, in the, not castle, if I was in the town hall, say I had a little room at the top, a balcony looking out, I'd be thinking, oh no, they're coming for me, guys. They're going to tell. Oh, look at the trees. Beautiful. Just uh, because we're waiting. There we go. So on the right hand side, what have we got? We've got the heroes there. We've got the King, Queen, Double Ice Golem, Grand Warden. They're creating a nice funnel over there. Some Yetis on the left. Yetis on the right. I'm not sure um, what's going on. Oh, there we go. There comes the Wall Wrecker. Now, are any troops going to follow that Wall Wrecker in? Because there's all those structures on the left and right. I don't think so. I think all the troops are going to go left and right. And I think the Wall Wrecker is going to be left all by itself. And it is, guys. That Wall Wrecker's made it into the centre now. But again, it's undefended. The king's coming back to help, but he's got no health. That's no good. And the ice golems are out. They're coming to say hello. They're, they're cleaning the car. It's a car wash, ice golem car wash that's gone wrong. Uh, out come the CC troops, and they have got no chance. In goes the royal champion, though. Look at her go. But again, like in the last replay with the queen, she is not going to have enough firepower to take out that town hall, especially when skeleton trap is deployed. Ice golems on her, saying, listen, you've got to pay for that car wash. Uh, no, not today. Another, yeah, that's good. I like that. The the ice golem car wash, the wrecker wash. You can get a bronze wash, silver wash, or a gold star wash, guys, from the ice golems. Beautiful. There we go. Frozen. Uh, the witches were frozen there, and nobody is gonna make it to that town hall. The town hall, like I said earlier, if I was inside, I would be laughing. Now I'd be like, yes, safe. And again. All the troops going around the outside of the base. Yeah. This is a tricky... Oh, sorry, guys. Some troops have broken through, but there's not enough there. That Tesla is tesling, and those scales have gone to give the, the witch there a hug. And there's a skeleton standoff. The queen's there saying, hey, sort it out, guys. No arguing in the base, please. No arguing. Get out. 27 seconds left. Who's left? Uh, a group, a family of minions have come for a day out. Uh, that day out is going to be ruined by the Archer Tower. There we go. 15 seconds left. I don't know what's left. What is left, guys? Uh, poison spell. That doesn't count. There must be somebody on the battlefield. Can you see them? I can't. Who's left? A skeleton somewhere? Uh, I don't know. No. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe uh, there was somebody in the woods. So we're on to our last replay, guys, and you know what happens now. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. You know what happens. So what do we got? Up there, guys. We've got the Queen Walk with the Grand Warden, a balloon searching for air mines, Baby Dragon on the right to help funnel. And I think with this base, guys, it's all about funneling. It's making sure some troops go into the core. But it is difficult because of all those structures on the outside of the base. So you've just got to be patient. So the Queen's just stood on a giant bomb. 
didn't even notice didn't even notice those healers took care of that on the left hand side there you've got the barbarian king he's helping that's another side of the funnel so we're funneling now guys some witches over there baby dragon the wrecker in the middle so the wrecker's going to nudge through and i guess the reasoning is the queen is going to follow the wrecker in maybe king ability used nice and early to clear some structures there rest of the troops there and yes guys this is looking like look at those bowlers they've changed their mind there we go just did it those bowlers were walking over there and they went no let's go to the core let's go see the ice golems the ice golems are doing their best to stop them and there they are a clump of frozen bowlers and again but they are making it into the base and this is not looking good you know this is the three star replay guys yes it is and it's all about the funnel getting those troops to go into the base there they go grand warden ability used the town hall is up and active but it's too late it's too late the core is ruined guys the core is ruined single target inferno is trying its best air sweeper two, multi mortar but they've taken out the base and now they're pushing through so that's the thing if you take out the base successfully and still have enough troops alive it's sort of clean up on the outside but this is the only attacker that managed to three star the base and it was a good you know this is a good attack it was just being patient with that funnel wasn't it really good funnel there but the bowlers nearly didn't take it they nearly wandered around the base they actually stopped i saw that moment in their eyes where they just went uh, okay let's go in let's go in we've got to yeah no more messing because guys you put a bowler down they just do what they want you say go there and they go no they go somewhere else you know I don't know if it's just their personality. They don't like taking instructions. Uh, you know, if you ask a bowler to go to the shop, you'd never see them again. They wouldn't bring you anything home. They wouldn't. So there we go, guys. Yeah, here's the three-star attack. We're going to go back, uh, to look at the base, summarize it, and give it a score out of 10. And guys, I always put a secret code word in my videos and ask you to go to the video comments. Yeah? And then put the secret code word there so I can see who's still watching, guys. So today's secret code word is bowlers. Bowlers, guys. That's today's secret code word. Put it, put it in the video comments and I'll reply to each and every one of you. So this base, guys, it's a bit different. It's a bit strange and it's a bit good. I do like it. So if you are looking for a different base for Clan War League, you know, it's coming up. Or for your War Base, Legend League Base, try it out. It's going to do well. It is going to do well. Um... Let me know what you think. Change some defences around. Remember to change the traps around to make it unique for you so people don't know where it's going to be. I'd say keep your skeleton traps on ground. Yeah, beautiful base today, guys. Out of 10, we're going to be giving this 8 out of 10. A worthy base. Looks cool, different. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Put the secret code in the video comments. This is Samu signing out. I've got loads of great stuff lined up for you. And of course, pretty soon, I assume we're going to have the super troops. That'd be cool. And we'll have lots of attack strategies using them. The Samus uh, signing out. I'll catch you later, guys.